Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today we're starting off some dialogue from Rapunzel and Maximus. It was a lot of fun spending time with my new friend. Nay! <laughs> Quest complete, Horse and Around Part 2. Alright, so we are going to actually get some more dialogue from Rapunzel and Maximus. So Maximus, what do you want to do today? Nay! <laughs> of course, a ride sounds perfect. Horse around part three, send Maximus to go for a gallop with Rapunzel. All right, so that will take 10 hours to do. Now this is a side quest, so we don't have to do it right now. Um, I'm actually working on collecting for Prince Philip, which I unlocked in my last video, which I'm really, really excited about, so that we can actually start collecting for him if we want, sort of throughout the event. Now, I've got Ariel here, and she's got eight of her 20 snarf blats right now, um, so hopefully she will get some more soon. We want to kind of try and collect them before King Trident is actually... Um, unlocked but that's okay if we don't like we can still collect for um the snarf lads once he is brought into the kingdom um i just know that once he's officially unlocked i will be focusing on um collecting for him right away and the snarf lads will have to go on the back burner if i don't um collect them all before he's officially unlocked so i've got judy hops who's actually able to be brought into the kingdom i unlocked her what like less than a week ago so she's already done which I'm super surprised but I am not gonna bring her in just yet um, we also have flash that we could bring in but he is a paid character so he is $20.99 if I want to get the Zootopia racetrack and some gems with him but again I'm not bringing anybody else in that's new sort of during the event I've sort of just made it back like I will not do that if I can avoid it unless I like super desperately need them but I know that I don't right now um, so the thing I will be focusing on though and everybody should be is always collecting lots of shells so that means you guys have to tap the clams every two hours if you can I know some of you guys are either at school or work or you're just busy with life stuff and so you're not able to tap these cute little guys right here um, we can actually see one of those uh, crabs as well which we have to tap oh my gosh the clam just ate the crab <laughs> so funny. So every two hours you can collect the uh, shells from the clams and uh, Otherwise, there's just these crabs you have to get rid of and that is in order to collect these snarf blats. Scuttle! Oh, oh, very interesting. This is a find right here. This is even rarer than the normal one You know about snarf blats, right? about how humans use them to make magniferous music with. Well, this here is an earlier model snarf blat. Dates from an era when they hadn't figured out how to get the plant out of it yet. <laughs> Not in much use now though. Wasn't long before humans got fed up with having to water the thing every day. Quest complete, dingle not purr. I am leaving. <laughs> Sebastian, oh my gosh. <laughs> I am leaving. He knows that Scuttle is full of it. He's just, <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, Scuttle, that crab don't know what he's missing. Walking off right in the middle of a perfectly edificationary lecture like that. I didn't even get to the best part. You see, part of the forgotten genius of this here replantified snarf blot is... You can use it to accompany yourself with, like so. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> One gull band sends Scuttle to accompany himself on snarf blot. Oh, Scuttle. <laughs> not meant to be used for music <laughs> okay so that would take six hours to do so we can go ahead and get scuttled to do that so I'm gonna obviously have to break off my clip here in my video but that's okay but I cannot believe 
um, what Sebastian said. I'm leaving. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> oh, it's so great. It was like, what was the point of that quest at all? He knew that Scuttle had no idea what he was talking about, but he still went for it, which is amazing. DMK, you were awesome just for that one liner that Sebastian made right there. The whole event is worth it for that one line. <laughs> All right, moving on, even though I really don't want to, but I will actually move on. Um, right now we have a leaderboard event for happiness. So I haven't quite figured out how to master this event just yet. Um, so I'm kind of doing my best, but I don't feel it's one of those ones that, uh, you know, it's up for anyone. I feel like you have to know what you're doing and really have to figure out how to be in the top group in order to get, uh, you know, whatever is, the reward is, I don't actually know right now, but I'm assuming it's another radiant chest or two or three, but I will have to check that in a little bit here. Um, so Ariel is still here singing. Um, I'm not quite sure why she's there at the moment because we are not using her for anything. So maybe for the kelp flower at the end, it'll be useful that she's still there. I don't actually know, but um, she's pretty much stuck there until uh, we welcome her, I think. I have a feeling that that's what this is all about. So Stitch, guys, is super useful to collect the containers for the Snarf Blat, but the problem is, is that I'm collecting way, way more um, containers than I am nets, and Scuttle is the only one that can get the nets, so not super great. So I don't really know how to approach this. Like obviously the containers are great, but you can only collect up to six at a time. And if you don't have a net to clear the crab, you can't collect any more of the containers. So it's a little bit ridiculous. So even though I've got eight of 20 of these snarf flats, it's like I could have more if they would let me collect all the containers, but I don't know why they stopped me at six. It really only means that um, it's useful for three more snarf flats, so it's kind of like, yeah. Why you stop my my progress? <laughs> Not quite sure why they do that to me, but that's okay. I just have to kind of deal with it. Um, now, again, I know the net drop isn't great, guys. I know some of you guys have already expressed that in the comments in my last video. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to, I guess, unlock King Triton, who is actually the next character to unlock. Um, that's why Scuttle is off doing that quest right now for me, um, because I want to unlock King Triton at some point. Even if it's a little bit early, I just want to sort of know that I've reached that point, and then I can fully focus on the Snarf Blats. So, I mean, you guys can kind of do what you will I mean, there's no right or wrong way. You can, if you guys are still collecting the dingle hoppers, you can collect dingle hoppers or snarf flats or, you know, get to the point where you're unlocking new characters um, like King Triton. So I think it's just a matter of what you guys would prefer to get to. I mean, I think personally I would do the event this way. And this is how I usually try and handle it is, it's like if I know I'm going to sleep or, you know, I know some of you guys are at school, so something that you're going to be away for several hours, get your characters to do those longer hour quests. So even if it's collecting the dingle hoppers or if it's, you know, sending Scuttle off for something to, um, you know, get to the point of unlocking King Triton, or maybe you're still collecting for Scuttle, whatever the longer quests are, send your characters off to do that. Don't do dingle hoppers when you're going to bed for like six to eight hours because it's totally pointless because all you, like all you have to do is like one hour quests a whole bunch of times. And I mean, unless it's the only thing left that you have to do, like I'm basically going to be at, hopefully once Scuttle's done, hopefully we'll unlock him, maybe one more quest, but we'll see. Um, but there's a six hour quest for Scuttle, and then I'm not sure what happens, but we'll give it a minute. But basically, just be smart about the event. Again, longer time, doesn't matter if you're what you're collecting, it's just those longer time periods, get your characters to do those longer things. And that goes for the same thing for collecting event currency. Um, even if it's just a little bit more when you sleep, it doesn't really matter, just send them for the longer quest. So here we can see right now, I'm 138 on the leaderboard, and so I'm in the top 150. So I get three Radiant Chests, which would be pretty awesome. No complaints there. Um, I haven't managed to get Prince Eric's statue yet, which is ridiculous that I want it so bad. I mean, I want the Triton concession as well, but we'll see. Sebastian is now level six. 
this is even better than before. Take it from me. Oh, I feel like he's singing. Under the sea. <laughs> okay, no more dialogue from Sebastian, but that's okay. No worries. Um, so, since I'll be around, 60 minutes is not a big deal for Sebastian to do. That would normally get the containers, but again, since I've got maxed out at 6, I can't get any more. New! Oh, calendar reward! Alright, so we are getting a radiant chest today. Yay! I'm actually super smart. Okay, maybe I'll get Prince Eric's statue or the Trident Stand concessions. Trident concessions, that's what it really is. Come on, come on, give it to me! Ah, the aquatic lamppost. I already got two of those um, from my radiant chest that I did a little while ago, so yeah, it totally is this to me right now. Let me know in the comments below what you got for your daily reward in that radiant chest. If it was a lamp post and you guys have already got them, I know, it's so heartbreaking sometimes. If you got Prince Eric's statue or the uh, trident stand, let me know. You know what? Why do they have to give me the party source party supply in a bronze chest when I really don't need it? I mean, it's great that I did. That's like the best thing you can get in a bronze chest, but still, still, I don't understand. <laughs> I needed something really awesome like that in the radiant chest. All right, so scuttle is actually done. I'm just collecting some shells quickly. Boom, 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 tap those clams. All right, scuttle and Ariel. Are you okay, scuttle? I heard a sort of huffing, snuffing noise coming from over here. Hey there, sweetie. Nothing for you to worry about. Just making a bit of beautiful music. What's new with you? <laughs> Scuttle. I just talked with Daddy. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to come here with me, but we're going to give it a try. Well, that's very open-headed of you, kiddo. Here's hoping it works out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta see how this vintage type snarf lad here sounds at a higher like altitude. Quest complete, one gull band. <laughs> the air's thinner up there. It improves the, what do you call them? Apoostics. <laughs> Scuttle. <laughs> oh gosh, some amazing dialogue again. Oh, I'll laugh. I will be sad when we run out of dialogue from him. I have had just about enough of that seagull's nonsense for one lifetime. I'm sure about that. Thank goodness I will not have to rely on him any longer. The Sea King is almost here. Welcome the Sea King! Welcome King Triton! Oh yeah, Ariel's daddy! <laughs> Finally, we have unlocked him! And with two days and 21 hours to spare before he becomes officially unlocked. I wish they would just give him to me now to collect for. I can collect him. I don't, I don't need to bring him into the kingdom, but you could at least let me collect for him. That'd be so awesome. And Atlantica, we can see, is in the stained glass in the background, so it's his kingdom. I just love those stained glasses. They look so cool. Okay, so King Triton is ready, and so that brings me to 21 days. So that is really awesome. I feel like I've done super well in this event, and the Little Mermaid, I love it so much. Okay, so now all we have to do is collect more Snarf Flat. So I've got eight of 20, as I've shown you guys already. So now I can go back to collecting for them again while I'm awake. While I'm asleep though, now I don't really have any long quests for them to do, unless I'm gonna send a character to level up, which is possible that I could do. But basically now Scuttle is on net duty for the Snarf Flats. He doesn't get off the hook no matter what. And Stitch, he's completely on container duty. So basically it's just Sebastian if I wanna send him to do something else. Um, I will, but for now we'll leave it at that. 
So 124 with 31 happiness. Let me know how you guys are doing on your leaderboard. And if you are at the point to unlocking and ready to welcome the Sea King, King Triton, into your kingdom. So thanks for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Make sure to give this video a big Mickey thumbs up. And we'll see you guys for the next one.